Hey there, YouTube friends. How are you all? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, it's raining like crazy out here and expected to rain all day. So what better thing for me to do than to show you my giant mohair strawberry filled with beautiful old antique stick pins and I'll go over them one by one. This one looks like it has a glass stone. It is not marked. Most of these are not marked, unfortunately. This one has a bit of enamel and is a sword. It's a beautiful amber colored stone. Look at that, very nicely faceted. I bought the strawberry from a lady in Las Vegas who was going out of business. Love that, beautiful. Look at that amethyst glass. I have a Presidium gem tester, which I think I'm gonna use on some of these because they look really, really old. Who knows if they're real. There's a nice enamel daisy. And this one is little paste stones. It's missing one in the center. This is an interesting one. This is celluloid with rhinestones. It probably was part of a dresser set, but it is very pretty. Here is an enamel turtle. Oh, this is a very cute set. This is a handmade glass gentleman. I don't know how old he is, but it's all handmade glass. And there's his little wife. Looks like a little um, Mexican caballero and his uh, little senorita. Very sweet. And then let's see, here's one. Oh, these are paste stones in a triple setting. Very pretty, very detailed. This one is a, a ruby glass paste stone with clear rhinestones around it. It's very pretty. <clears throat> and this is gold stone, which is not actually a stone. It's just a made up material that people did with uh, glass and gold bits. and a lucky horseshoe in rhinestone. Uh, I, like I said, I'll use the gem tester and see what's up with all of these. Here's one that's a maple leaf in enamel. Very sweet. Oh, look at that one. That's very pretty. Little paste stones, sort of in a Art Nouveau metal frame. <clears throat> this one looks like Bakelite. Not pretty. Probably 30s. And this one is in silver tone with another paste stone and enamel. I think this might have a little bit of that guilloche enamel. Oh, this is one of my favorites. A bulldog with a rhinestone eye. Look at that. This one is a pearl. And this one, look at that. The, what do they call that, steeplechase? Horse running through the fence and right through the horseshoe. Very much symbols of good luck. This is a fabulous one. This is a hard stone intaglio cameo. 
of a stag. So this must have been a gentleman's piece. Very well done. So this is a type of sardonyx that they did this with. And this one is a glass piece. Like a slide glass, maybe. This is enamel with a red glass stone cabochon. It's not faceted, so it's a cabochon. A little enameling. Here's a mother of pearl. Very unusual ones. I, I never collected them before um, a couple of years ago when I met this woman. Here's a lion with a gem in his mouth. And I have that as a locket as well. Anyway, she was going out of business and everything was um, a certain price. And, you know, she made this beautiful, uh, this is antique mohair. She made this strawberry. And, um, and I bought the stick pins a little while after that on eBay. It's a pearl. And I just thought it was very, very pretty. I think we're running out. That's it. I think, let me see. Oh, if there's one more left. Uh, no, she made that. Okay. Well, that's it for now. And it's a short video. And I just think that um, they're very pretty. And I, those are the days when people actually dressed up, really dressed up and put stick pins in their lapels. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope everyone's doing a lot better than I am. Hopefully, we'll get the air conditioning fixed. And we did get the roof leak fixed. Um, the drainage pipe exploded in my kitchen. And uh, that was an entire mess. But that got repaired as well. And now it's just painting the ceiling that's left. Anyway, I will come back with some goodies and uh, show you some more as soon as I can. Have a great day, friends. Thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing. God bless you all. Bye.